Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive again, continuing with our microcontroller tutorials, uh, talking about the Netduino. So, if you watched our last video, you saw that we wrote our first program, we turned on the LED, and we turned it off at a specified rate. Um, today we're going to be controlling the LED, as I said last time, by using the switch. Um, so, with that, let's get started. Uh, the switch is built in, again, just like the LED, so we don't have to find any parts. Uh, I've got C Sharp open, which you should always have open when we're doing this. We're just going to go ahead and start by creating a new Netduino project. Uh, switch LED. Okay. So, as we dealt with last time, if you watched the last video, we created an output port for the LED. But this time, we're going to be dealing with an input port as well. So we're going to start just by creating another output port to deal with the LED. So we're just going to do that. So if you remember last time, it's the location of the pin and its initial state. But we're also going to create an input port. Now it's the location of the port, in this case onboard switch 1. The glitch filter, which we're just going to leave false for now. In the port dot resistor mode, which we're just going to set to disable for now. I'll tell you what those means later because it's a little more complicated. But just uh, leave them as I have for now. Now, the thing we have to remember about this switch is there's power flowing through it normally, but when you push the switch down, it inhibits the flow. In the case of the Netduino, so you push it down and it gives you a false reading, you let go and it gives you a true reading. You're going to want to remember that. In most cases, you're going to have power flowing in, and then when you push the switch, it lets power flow through, but not in this case. So we're just going to go ahead and set a while loop again. This time we're going to put in a conditional. Now to get the value of the switch, it's just dot read. And that's it. Oh, switch, oh. It's because I said to we, not switch. Okay, so switch.read. Now, because we want it to, when you push the button to turn on, we have to say not, because as I told you, it inhibits the flow. So when you push it, normally, if you have it set the way I have, it will turn it off. But we want to turn it on. So up here, you're going to use the exclamation point for a not. Not inverts the uh, boolean, so it's going to change it from true to false and from false to true. So, if switch.read led.write true, just like last time. So if it's pushed down, it gets a false reading and it turns on. Else, if I've let go of the switch led.write false. And that's it. That's all that's uh, actually required to control the LED on the board. Uh, what you should note is if you don't have switch code, uh, specifically the onboard switch programmed into the code, it will function as a reset switch. So it'll reboot uh, the processor. If you don't have, I mean, if you do have it written in the code, it overwrites that function and it'll just act as a normal switch. So remember that when you're doing this, you will lose your reset button. So that's it, but because this is a uh, new project, we've got to go under Properties and change it from an emulator to USB. I've already got mine plugged in. If you just plugged yours in now, uh, if you haven't changed the program, it should start blinking. That just says that uh, you have you haven't changed the code at all. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit F5, and it should begin to deploy it. Preparing to deploy, preparing to deploy, and there we go. So here we go, here's our Netduino with the uh, Switch LED program booted onto it. As you can see, uh, I haven't pushed it, so the LED's off, but when I push it, it turns on. I let go, and it turns it off. So this is just a simple demonstration to show how you can control the LED using the uh, switch and it's really nice because it's just built right in so you don't have to go and find anything so 
that's it for this video. Uh, for the next video, we're actually going to be talking about, we're actually going to leave the realm of the onboard. We're going to start talking about the actual digital IOs and these pins over here. Uh, so this has been Human Hard Drive again. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching.